Who will the commanders take with the number two pick in the upcoming draft? And what moves are they going to make in free agency, Sean? I, I know you have a lot to, to say, but first we got to hear from JP because there's so much to talk about <laughs> in this week ahead. Team Insider JP Finley shares what he learned at the NFL Combine and what lies ahead for Washington. The NFL world is back from Indianapolis, and that means focus shifts to free agency. Let's give everybody a refresher on what Washington's got. That number two overall pick, which there's so much excitement about. Nine total picks, including five in the top 100. They could get a lot of good players quick in this first draft for Adam Peters. But don't forget, over $90 million in salary cap space. We're going to circle back to that salary cap space and free agency in just a moment. Here's one thing I learned, though, in Indiana. For all the hope of Caleb Williams, the hometown hero, coming back to D.C., the Gonzaga alum, don't think it's going to happen. It sure seems like Williams is going first overall to the Chicago Bears. And you can understand when you watch some of these plays, the arm strength, the ability to throw off platform. Williams is a star. He's going one. So what does that mean for Washington at number two? Sure sounds like it's going to come down to one of two guys. That's right. It's either that young man, Drake May, University of North Carolina, or this young man, Jaden Daniels, the Heisman Trophy winner from LSU. Both of these guys are stud prospects. You arguably can't go wrong. May has prototypical size to beat you from the pocket. Big arm. Daniels has the big arm. Watch this throw, but he can also make a ton of plays with his legs. You hear, you hear comparisons to Michael Vick. You hear comparisons to Lamar Jackson. Drake May, though, you hear comparisons to Justin Herbert, maybe even Josh Allen. Whatever way they go, Adam Peters got to make the right pick and ideally answer the quarterback situation for this franchise. But next week, we're going to have a very different scene than focusing on the draft. Next week, NFL free agency opens. Don't forget, Washington just made a few roster cuts that freed up even more salary cap space. That would be starting left tackle Charles Leno and that man, Logan Thomas, veteran tight end. These are normal procedural moves. When a new GM takes over, they're going to release veterans with a lot of salary that doesn't have guarantees attached to it. What it does mean, though, Washington, even though new GM Adam Peters swears he's going to build this roster through the draft, when free agency opens next week, they're going to be half. They're going to have to be active just because they have so many roster holes. It's going to be a lot of fun to watch Peters rebuild this organization, and it begins next week.